I'm from Mindanao. I was born here and I've lived here since 2014. In 2018, I moved to Manila to study. And it was during my time there that I realized that there's a divide between Manila, the capital of the Philippines, and Mindanao. People would ask me, Hans, do you take a car about to go to school? Or Hans, we'll be able to contact you during Christmas break when you're at home. These questions weren't filled with negative intent at all, but I wanted to look into these stereotypes. And that's when I realized that the stigma surrounding Mindanao is a much more complex problem than I'd ever imagined. The Philippines is split into three major island groups, Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. Mindanao is the second largest and southernmost island group of the Philippines. The stigma surrounding Mindanao is multidimensional as it comes from different sources. Conflict is one of the multiple causes of the stigma. It can be traced to as far back as the 16th century when the Moro natives defended their homeland against the Spanish invaders who wanted to spread Christianity. Since then, Conflicts have continued between Manila and Mindanao for over 400 years. Manila imperialism is another key cause for the stigma against Mindanao, as there is this perception that Manila is at the center of the country, specifically in terms of the national government, media, and economy. Media about Mindanao rarely reaches Manila consumers, and when it does, it's usually about conflict. This misinforms and gives the wrong impression about the entirety of the island group. And aside from this, another cause of stigma is the low socioeconomic status, as it's been found that low socioeconomic situations can lead to more discrimination and stigmatization. This negative stigma can lead to the worsening of conflict, socioeconomic status, resource distribution, governance, and lead to even more social political unrest. Well, how can we solve this problem of stigma surrounding Mindanao? I'd say our solution also needs to be multidimensional one that takes into account these several aspects and tries to find solutions towards them. There isn't really a solution like this at the moment. Yes, there's the Bangsamoro Organic Law. However, it focuses more on the western side of Mindanao and aims more on independence and peace rather than reducing the stigma. I have three main ideas to focus on for this solution. Media, tourism, and the economy. We know that the media representation of Mindanao is severely lacking and it's one of the causes for the stigma. Positive portrayal about Mindanao needs to be increased in journalism, film, and other forms as well. There could be support from the government towards these projects, allowing local Mindanao artists and creators to speak out their own voices. This will allow for a much more natural and positive perspective. This would be an opportunity to promote diversity and cultural uniqueness of Mindanao. The increase of films and media production will also increase tourism. Like the case of the film Shargao, which had drastic impact on the local economy and tourism. This has also happened across the world, with tourists heading to the locations of famous films like Lord of the Rings and Parasite. But aside from this, tourism should also be encouraged as it allow people to experience firsthand the positive effects of Mindanao. Promoting tourism across Mindanao as alternatives to popular domestic tourist destinations will also boost the economic situations of these places. Providing training programs in Mindanao that give participants certifications for jobs and qualifications can also be a valid way of improving the economic situation. As several BPOs still find it difficult to trust regional areas with medium to high difficulty tasks, and as a result, it's more focused in Manila. Hopefully all of these actions will provide positive impact in reducing the stigma against Mindanao. But as ideal as these plans sound, the stigma surrounding Mindanao will not magically go away. We have to be cooperative in the solution and understand our roles and be aware of even the slightest prejudices against each other. We must make an active effort, and hopefully then, the negative stigma surrounding Mindanao will come to an end.